I am a man of honor, integrity, and commitment. I owe this to my mother, Mercedes, and my father, Arsenio, God rest his soul, and to my God. I know that our great nation and government believes in separation of church and state. But our forefathers decided to put in God we trust in our currency. This is a sign that God is a great part of our great nation. This is why you can clearly see that in our currency. I'm not here to give you a lesson on religion, but I am a religious man. Not any more, not any less than any other man. And I must give you something from Matthew. If another believer sins against you, go privately and point out the offense. If the other person listens and confesses, you have won over the other person or your brother. It must be said that Commissioner Wiley was in my parish a few weeks ago. I was very happy to see him there, although I did not get a chance to say hello then. I did later say hello to him, welcome him for having been in our parish, and thank him for doing so. This made me believe that he's a man a believer or a religious man. Mr. Wiley, sir, I have not sinned against you or anyone else. And you have certainly not won me over, sir. I have no sin to confess. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not guilty of what I am being accused of. And you have to pardon me because I'm a little nervous because I'm appalled that I will be accused of something like that. When in public, a public official takes the wolf of office and places his left hand on the Bible and takes the oath. When in a court of law, witnesses are asked to place your hand on the Bible and say the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. This is another sign that our great nation believes in God and should continue to do so, although there are many out there who think not. And again, I apologize, but I'm very emotional right now because I do not take this lightly at all. If the moment comes and I'm asked to place my hand on the Bible and swear to say the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, I will say the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not guilty of what I'm being accused of. And what Mr. Wiley is accusing me of. At the current time, the only accuser is Mr. Wiley. If and when the moment comes, I will place my hand on the Bible and the truth will be known. I would never do anything to tarnish my family name, my, embarrass my children, and most importantly, tarnish my parish and my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we just celebrated a very important holiday in our country, President's Day. We look at Washington and Lincoln. But it's a day to celebrate every president. Abraham Lincoln said, America will never be destroyed from the outside. But if we falter and lose our freedoms, we will have destroyed ourselves. I will not falter and lose my freedom. Under the Constitution of the United States of America, I have a right to support whoever I feel I need to support. And it's no secret that I did not support Roque. I did not vote for Roque. I did not vote for Mr. Wiley or any of the commissioners who sat up here because I was exercising my constitutional right back then to support whoever I wish I wanted to support. I currently stand behind Mayor Roque and his commissioners because in church I pray for peace. I first thank God for my health, the health of my family, and the ability to be able to provide for my family. And I pray most of all 
for Beast and Westmere. Had you asked me 40 years ago, or five years ago, if Rocket was going to get together with Cosmo, with all the other people that he got together with, I would have said no. Mr. Wiley, I invite you to join that team and move West New York forward, sir. You have a right not to do so, but I invite you to do so. Thank you, Mr.